The next step in this recipe is to melt four tablespoons of butter over moderate heat. You're going to add your half a cup of onion and simmer it. Stirring it and cooking it only for a short period of time so that uh, you make sure not to brown them. You just really want to soften them up. As far as heat is concerned, I went with a seven and a half out of 10 for this set. Oh, you are you serious? Okay, so after letting these onions cook for about seven minutes, the next thing you're gonna have to do is add the two cups of the fine rice that we got. and then let those cook for about one to two minutes, stirring it into the onions very nicely. You just want the rice to get a buttery coating. The next step is to add a half a cup of your dry white wine, and you're just gonna stir this in until it uh, basically completely boils off. My mom always said to use a splash for good luck. Alright, now that the, uh, ri the wine is fully absorbed, we have to add two cups of our simmering stock. I've got a half cup ladle, so you do the math. That'll be four ladles. And you're just going to let this cook until all of this liquid is absorbed into the rice, or at least very close to it. Remember, we're using chicken stock to impart the flavor so the chicken didn't have to sacrifice his life for nothing. Can you smell that? Because it sure smells good. We're going to use the rice with saffron. Okay, now that the chicken stock has almost absorbed completely into the rice, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add four more um, ladle, ladle spoonfuls into this rice and stir it, stir it occasionally as well. It's a little difficult right now because my Gucci frames are fogging up on me, so I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm just going on pure cooking instincts right now. Now remember, you do have to stir this occasionally, but you want it to do the same thing as before. You just want it to just absorb into the rice almost completely. So stir it carefully. It's almost going over the top of the pan. God forbid we get some chicken broth all over the sink. Chef Ryan's mother will go ballistic. Okay, so while we got the rice um, simmering in the chicken stock over there, I'm going to chop up some of this red fire, also known as saffron to you layman. So I'm going to start chopping this up. You want to grind it up real fine. Be careful not to cut your fingers off. I'm pretty accident prone, so I have to be extremely careful. Now we want an eighth of a cup. I like to kick it up a little notch. I'm going to put in probably about a quarter teaspoon of this. I said cup, I meant teaspoon. That seems like about a quarter teaspoon. Plop it in there and you're going to put this into some ch simmering chicken stock, two cups of it, and let it steep for a couple minutes. Stirring it, stirring it occasionally just to make sure all the seasonings from the saffron get uh, into the chicken stock. Damn! Let this steep now. I'm putting a little more in here. It's freaking saffron. You might as well use it all. Where's the uh, package? We didn't use all of it, didn't we? Alright, so the last two cups of stock that we added are now completely absorbed. 
So next we're going to add our two stocks which have been infused with the saffron. We've efficiently extracted all the oils from the spice and now uh, you can see how this rice is already a lot fluffier and more grand looking than it was when we first began. So at this time we'll let these final two cups of stock stir in and cook out and uh, the rice should be tender and done after that. If it's not and you find it to be a little bit firm you can use your remaining stock. It should be approximately a quarter of a cup left if you've followed the recipe so far. Okay, now that the uh, red fire infused chicken stock is infused completely into the nice rice that we have here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two cups of the grated Parmesan cheese that I prepared earlier and I'm going to add it directly into the rice. And I'm also going to add four tablespoons of the soft butter, plop it right down in there and, it's, and I'm going to stir it in with this wooden fork. Seeing as we're using a Teflon dish here, I don't want to scratch it up. So I'm going to use this nice wooden fork. And I'm going to serve it once, serve at once while rice is creamy and piping hot. Alright, so I'd like to introduce our special guest taster who's going to be uh, trying some of Chef Ryan's cooking for the first time. This is Ciro Martone. It's nice to meet you all. So, uh, without any further ado, let's do it. Oh, you want some more? Yeah, I would like some more, actually. Right, Thank yeah. you so much. That should suffice. Uh, are we working with one scoops or two scoops? Two scoops. two scoops, baby. Are you serious? I like to go with two scoops a day. Now, does this smell phenomenal, or does this smell better than phenomenal? I think this it smells, smells beyond phenomenal. I think it smells beyond stupendous. Can you smell that wine in there? I can smell the wine. Mm, that saffron has a nice bite to it, though. I tell you. Oh boy, this is amazing. This is like a VIP party that would be in Miami and you'd have to pay $80 at the door to get in, but it's happening in my mouth. It's pretty serious. Reminds me of club space. This is an orgy on the case buds. Well, thanks again everyone for watching, but uh, we're trying to pig out, so get out of our kitchen. <laughs>